You're still watching Kwacha Good Morning Zambia and this time now for the main interview and today on the main interview we've got Abel Muklama who is uh, the president of the Zambia Archives and Records Management Association and uh, this is a very important uh, topic we have because uh, Zambian records need to be kept somehow. Abel, welcome to the program. Thank you so much. I know Mr. you in Livingston uh, quite um, being a tourist. Yeah, yeah. Uh, enjoying Livingston always when, when we come here you just enjoy the many things that Livingston offers. Okay, yeah. great. So, a lot of people may not know about your association. What's this association about? So, the Zambian Archives and Records Management Association is an association that brings together registry personnel, um, archival professionals, and um, records management professionals from the private sector, the public sector, and um, the academia, I think in a nutshell. So, we bring people from uh, different places that are concerned about records and archives really. So you're talking about the records when before we talk about the archive because yeah. I can see there's a lot in between here. Yeah. There's a part of the records, the part of archives. Maybe let's start with the archive part. Yeah. I know anything archived is uh, something that was uh, for the past. Yeah. So what archive do you look for that you come to actually put to the phone? So um, we look at all, all, all sorts of archives. I think generally all, all types of archives. I think we, we know that the, the mother institution for uh, archives in Zambia is the National Archives of Zambia, but different organizations uh, keep archives. So if, for example, you work in a university, universities have university archives. Uh, if you work uh, at the Bank of Zambia, for example, the Bank of Zambia have their own archives. And we look at all, all of those archives. And so people work in different places, and so we bring the knowledge and the experiences that people have to uh, talk archives. And um, we know the importance of archives. I think uh, you don't understand modern history if you don't have records that become archives. Actually, an archive is basically a record that graduates and becomes an archive because of its value. Yeah. Okay. So how do you draw the line here for those uh, probably who've got different uh, archives from different places? How do you draw them together? One thing that we need to get clear is that um, all archives that come from the public sector all the ministries, so Minister of Information, Minister of Health, Minister of Agriculture, all the records that have archival value end up in the National Archives of Zambia. I think that is clear. Yeah? And then records that are created in, pub public organ uh, in private organizations, let's say even, even quasi-organizations like NAPSA, um, ZRA, ZMBC, uh, and then pub public, uh, private organizations like banks, you know, they own those records and so they have their own archives. Right, but if you think about it, what we do is similar, you know. And so, what are the experiences of people that work at national archives? What are the experiences of people that work in banks and work in, in private institutions? We must come together and discuss the challenges and the changes that are taking place in those organizations, and hence this conference. Great. So, maybe let me draw you to the broadcast archives, like at uh, ZNBC Mass Media. Yeah, we've got. Um, an archive department where yeah. we've got a lot of tapes. Yeah. Some of the tapes as far back as the 70s, we're yeah. talking about the Umatic tapes, yeah. the Betacam, yeah. the uh, DV tapes, yeah. and now we are in the era of uh, you know, the digital. Yeah. Um, but how would you relate that uh, kind of archives to what your... Really? Brilliant question. Yeah. Um, so I'll start my answer by, by telling you that one of my favorite Zambian artists is Pongozi. Pongos. And and my favorite of Pongos' songs are those he did in the 70s. Yeah. And you know, ZMBC has that. You know, and, and so it tells you, um, I was born in, in, in the mid 80s, but I have a love for music that was done in the 70s. And then it tells you the value that ZMBC has to life today. You know, so um, the changes that have, have come, the digitization, and um, just how we are converting music that was done in the 70s and 60s, and, and archives provide that source, tells you the importance of uh, those kinds of archives. Actually. Um, our conference has, a the has an aspect in the theme that deals with um, digital spaces. You know, now we listen to music on YouTube. Actually, ZNBC has a YouTube channel. In the next 50, 100 years, your YouTube channel will be archived. You know, and so you see the value that um, comes off of archives and archival thought, really. Okay, great. Uh, we're talking to Abel Muklama, who is uh, the president of the Zambia Archives and Records Management Association. We are talking about archives and archive very important uh, thing to actually take care of because uh, that gives us uh, to know where we are coming from. Now, let's get to the record part of this. Um, yeah. In terms of uh, record keeping, you're talking about, uh, especially for those that are in the print, uh, we've talked about uh, newspapers of uh, the yesteryears. Maybe 
A newspaper which was printed probably way back in 1950 yeah. can still be found. Yeah. I mean, how are you relating that? Um, so, so records, one, you want to think of a, of a record in, in, in an aspect, so you want to look at it as something that gives you value, um, evidence of what happened. So if I go to a shop and buy something, I'm given a receipt, it's a record of uh, the proof that I bought something, you know. And so there are a lot of transactions that take place in organizations. Huge decisions are made, you know, and minutes are taken, you know. Um, we request for funds and we have impressed and retirements. All those are records and they show evidence of the support that organizations give us. So um, in after 10, 20, 15 years, there, there, there are laws like we have National Archives Act that tells us